The main emphasis of my research program is to determine what is there about metabolic syndrome that is pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and type 1 diabetes. What is there about that that causes coronary artery disease, and how can we prevent it? Physiologically, a pig heart is very, very close to a human heart. And, and so how are ossobots like a sedentary uh, human being nowadays? They are because they have this, like a lot of people, do have a propensity to obesity. You know, you'll hear the, the expression, someone says, if I eat a cookie, I'll gain 10 pounds. That's thermodynamically impossible, but you kind of get the message there. Eat a little bit of food and really gain a lot of weight. That's how these animals are. And they're like humans now because we don't allow them to stop eating, actually. We don't, they don't enter this famine phase like they did in the past. They're like humans of today where there's usually a, a good food supply, especially in the United States. And so they keep on eating. They get more obese. They get more of the metabolic syndrome, prediabetes, or these elevated blood lipids and so forth. And then they, they get elevated blood glucose, and so it has to develop type 2 diabetes. Carol, will you lay down? Uh -huh. This actually is the largest breeding facility of Ossobot pigs in the entire world. As a matter of fact, it is the only breeding facility. Purdue, having the agriculture school and the animal sciences department and a lot of livestock and so forth, it, it made it a really great collaboration in that regard. So, so then the overall plan and what we have right now is that the main long-term breeding colony is at here on the Purdue campus um, where we produce about 250 pigs a year or so. Basically all pigs either go to other institutions when we sell them or they go to IU School of Medicine where we do uh, sort of our pig cardiology and that kind of thing. Yes, you're beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. They, they reverse his <laughs>